why do you think that it's just sustaining its momentum okay so in 2014 my my good friend neil arce called me sabi niya bro um there's this concept this there's, there's this proposal uh, i want to talk to you about parang it's a bar we're planning on doing na may bands daw so originally the concept was to have a small stage so parang sports bar slash music place mm-hmm. um so uh, you know i met up with with my with neil sabi niya kasama daw si chito I was like, yeah, listen, I listen to. Okay, game ako. Like, it's something I've never done before, mm-hmm. and I'm always open to, you know, something that I'll gain experience and knowledge from. So I go, mm-hmm. and, and I'm, and apparently, you know, some some of the partners are club owners. So uh, I was very intrigued with with the lineup. That was after mm-hmm. several meetings, like a music hall. And then some of my club partners, club owner partners, um, like GP Reyes and Keith Howe, they wanted to do they wanted to do a table reservation. Uh, para mm-hmm. concept. Yung, I yung, concept. Yung how, oh. Yeah, yung how it is in the club. They want to adopt it sa, sa, sa music hall. Uh-huh. And at first, I was like, man, no one's doing that. Like, you just go there early, grab... An empty table, and that's it. You just order uh, one. So the it. whole idea of uh, a hotline where you can reserve in advance a table and and mm-hmm. my 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 table rates that was unheard of. All these other bars yeah. that 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 were there or you mga tinugtugan namin na ganon. Wala, they never had that. Mm. And at first, I was kind of skeptical about it because I I don't think the scene. I don't think the scene will be, mm. you know, will be okay with this because you know it, it's a it's a premium at the end of the day. Uh-uh. And, but man, it's nice to be around people, um, and I just trusted them back then because you know mm-hmm. they 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 had a logical explanation why people would 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 dig. Or you know you you uh, you're targeting a different market, uh, but, but then again it it did work, and I, I originally I thought it wouldn't work, but I I was skeptical. But then again that that I think we were the pioneers of that concept of you yes know, you were you guys were and now now, now everyone's the, doing it. everyone's doing that and and i think that's why um it worked because you know if you wanted if you didn't want to ha- hassle yourself and yeah. it doesn't mean forte i mo mahassle hindi gonna rock and roll i <laughs> mean it, it doesn't uh. Mean. uh so your your convenience is you know sometimes uh, people want to pay for convenience Um, and uh, it worked. So, and at the same time, when we started, I really, and I remember this uh, perfectly. Na sabi ko, we need to get everyone. Like, we need. Um, we can't discriminate genres. We're not gonna be that kind of place, or we're not gonna mm-hmm. be a clickish. The whole spectrum. Every musician mm-hmm. is welcome here. We will give an avenue to different kinds of musicians, genres, or crowd, or or whatever. Um, but definitely, we will artists, and we will be mm-hmm. championing, you know, local music, local music. And in the entering our sixth year, um, it's been just an amazing, probably one of one of the. Um, few things I, I'm I'm really proud of is that I got into this industry without knowing shit, man. I don't know <laughs> shit about food, bar, and well, I, and I learned so much. And nanganak she, it 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 kind of led to another thing. I'm uh, focusing on you know businesses now aside from music, and it all happened because you know Twelve Monkeys put me in the map. As an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. and but another bold move 
na na you did was but from you you ventured into businesses within the city and then now you're doing something outside of the city <laughs> so diba bigla na lang bigla na lang bro <laughs> I'm going to na share ko sabi ko sabi ko and i owe you and i owe you and Reese a honeymoon there or you know a vacation okay, whatever yeah. you want we're, we're going to we're going to we're going to do that when we go to the island but i'm like sabi ko that's a smart move. A smart move, diba? Smart move. And then Alpas came to fruition. Can you please? This, this is why I, I, that's why I wanted to ask this on this podcast because <laughs> I have never asked you in person. What the hell does Alpas mean? Go. <laughs> okay, so uh, 2000, when was that? 2017. I got a 17. call from my, Yeah, I got a call from my friend, G, uh, Mark. From 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 the village, we play basketball together. Sabiya, bro, I'm working with Derek Paul on a film. It's gonna it's called Shergao. We heard your song on the radio, your song Alon. We want to get it to be part of the soundtrack. So I was like, dude, game. Let's let's sit down. Let's talk about it. So we 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 met up, got drunk a couple of times, mm-hmm. um, and then Paul messaged me, asked me for a favor. Sabiya, dude, can you can, can we fly you to Shergao to shoot? Some promotional materials for the film. Uh, so yeah. although we don't have a budget, but uh, I got all of Like treat it as a vacation. Okay. And um, I said, "No, no problem as long as um, you know the schedule permits." Because that was October, if I'm not mistaken. And when uh-huh. Burma is not some music, man, it gets really busy. What am I? Yeah. So but but I got a weekend. So I flew with my sister. Uh, she was basically my stylist and libre vacation. Mm-hmm. Um, man, they closed the tourist spots and a lot of people were not happy with it. Because okay. sunset at cloud nine was closed, and I, and we because we were shooting for three hours. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Sugba Lagoon was closed, so um, hey, you pissed off a lot of people. <laughs> some some strips there, pero. I met a local who 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 was in charge of the production and who eventually became my local partner there in El Paso. Sabi niya, oh, bago siyong bumili na lupa dito, kasi uh, one of one of the actors in the film, si Jericho Rosales, recently mm-hmm. bought land from her. Sabi ko, okay. um, look, I've been here once, you know, two years ago, ah, last year from from uh-huh. from that from that shoot. Sabi ko, I'm not yet familiar. I'm not sure if I want to live here yet. So sabi ko, uh-huh. if you, if you, you know, let's try to put up a business. If you're open to, and we started, we had, we had dinner. I was asking her, ano bang okay na business dito? Um, uh-huh. And then she said, you know, bed and breakfast is, is a good idea because um, a lot of people are coming in and there aren't a lot of, Hostels, hotels, hostels. bed and breakfast available. So I said, okay, let's do it. Or uh, laundry. But later laundry on... Laundry service. Oh. Yeah, laundry service. Because there are a lot of backpackers. And you know, they just want to leave the, their stuff and come back for it after they surf. So, mm. But later on, we, we, we decided to just uh, push through with the hostel. And my brother and I, we've been going to La Union near the beach. Because they were... I alam ko hindi mo di ako uh, mukhang may beach alam puti puti ko but pero alam, island boy po talaga siya island boy po siya um my brother and I we've been planning to live by the beach or at least buy a beach house together so we have you know we have a weekend place uh or pag long weekends we have so, you know a place near the beach where the whole family can be there celebrate whatever so sabi ko sa brother go hey do you want to I met a local here, and there's an opportunity. Do you want to go? Some a good friend of mine, Sichokoy, in offer ko rin. So we went back after the film was released. By the way, we won um, soundtrack of of of, of the year. Yeah. So that yeah. was great. It did. It was a, a good omen, if you will. That was right after the MM. Um, uh, Manila, uh, ano? Ano? Manila Film Festival. Metro After Pop, that, uh, Metro Manila Film Festival. Oh. Yeah. After MMFF, we, we, we went back 
Tapos, yun, tumingin kami ng mga lupa and well, no no background in construction, no no background in <laughs> no background at all, man. Like, iniwa kami ng contractor namin while uh, you know, the structure was being built. Mm-hmm. And later on, my brother decided to just live there. So, thankfully, I have my brother uh, running the business there. Um, but looking back, it's just life gives you opportunities and the window to grab that opportunity, man, it's not, hindi ganun katagal yung, oppor- yung window to mm. grab. So, you know, sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith, you trust your instincts, and sometimes you just, you know, you gotta be crazy enough, brave enough to, you know, venture into something that it's a big question mark. But the thing about uh, Alpas is like our our passion for nature, for the sea, was mm. there. Everything else mm. will follow because you you gotta love what you're doing, and, mm. and you got you gotta back that up with the discipline to learn, uh, to execute, uh, and, and that's what we're doing now. We we've, we've learned how to to run properly an accommodation in mm. um, okay. um, we're learning now the construction side of things and uh-huh. for this 2020 I don't want to reveal too much but we, okay. have, we have big plans man we're we're venturing into another project uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, business business has been good. We we I hope personally, since you know, I have a kid now, I have a family. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I want to lay down the foundation for okay. for my family, and you know, this pandemic really, really is an eye opener for everyone that, you know, um, we need to. We need to have a deeper connection with nature. Mm-hmm. Um, and that I think, is true. I, I agree. And I think I'll pass with I'll pass with with that business that we have. We can do moving forward. That will be what we have in mind to be more connected to nature. Um, and uh, you know, bro, the whole time th- this whole time during ECQ, I've I've been well. My focus primarily has been to protect my, my family here. Mm-hmm. Uh, my parents are, are very susceptible. Uh, seniors, I have, a, I have a newborn. So that, that's my priority. And our employees to make sure they're, mm-hmm. uh, they're taken care of. Taken, Just, taken care of. Yeah, which is, you know, and, and business is going to be difficult to jumpstart, but we're, we're optimistic. But given, given the time, I'm going to realize that now moving forward, everyone needs to needs to consider nature. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, who said it? Heal, heal you, Gracie. Heal you. Uh. Uh, said every child needs to bike, learn how to ride. Moving forward, there's one mm. skill that every child needs to learn now, and that's how to plant. Because mm. we've been to um, parang, dependent on, on machine production. Eh. Yeah, bro. The big machine of life kind of, you know, like implode siya, eh, with with the pandemic. Mm. Now all of a sudden, your your fancy phone, your fancy shoes, or they don't matter right now. They don't matter. None of these luxuries, these material things that were important. They're not that important right now. And mm-hmm. maybe things will get back. I hope it does. But we can't neglect nature because um, as more people populate the world, sabi nga nung, I've been watching a lot of documentaries. Eh, they're saying this isn't, this isn't going to be the last the reality if we do not make that connection with nature. And mm-hmm. I feel like we need to start educating the younger people now. Because... Uh, mm-hmm old dogs 
uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to we're, change the psyche, but the kids, man. We're, the, we're actually more practical. We're actually more practical. And yun, yeah, now, now it's all about disseminating the right kind of information so that these are the things that people will follow.